when you stay with the breath, you're giving the mind something good to feed on, because it feeds on its objects all the time. And for the most part, it feeds on things that are harmful to it. So we, to train it, to give it some strength, you need to give it good food. You're feeding on the breath. The breath is what keeps you alive. And it manages all the other energies in the body, all the other elements in the body. So it make good, makes good sense to learn how to make the breath comfortable, make the breath energizing when you need energy, and relaxing when you need to be relaxed. It's important that you really get to know the breath, and at the same time you're getting a sense of well-being that comes from settling down. Because only when you find something that's really good to settle down with can the mind gain any happiness. As the Buddha once said, there is no happiness apart from peace. And the only way the mind is going to be at peace is if you can find a place where it can settle down and stay. Otherwise it's always ready to tense up and jump away, jump away, jump away, because it's landed on things that are not solid. It's like when you're trying to run across a pool and just on lotus leaves, and they can't support your weight, so you just got to jump, 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 and even then you end up drowning anyhow. But with the breath, you've got something really solid. As long as the body's alive, it's going to be right here. And as you stay with the breath and feed off the breath, it strengthens the mind. When the mind gets stronger, it can stand out on its own. And then you can focus directly on the mind, so that when the breath does leave you, you'll still have a good place to stay. Something good to feed on when you need to feed. Maybe someday, if you practice well, you reach the point where you don't need to feed anymore. That's when the mind is really independent. But in the meantime, you've got to be very careful about how it feeds. If it feeds well, it'll stay healthy. If it doesn't feed well, it gets all kinds of diseases, the diseases of greed, aversion, delusion, jealousy, all those other diseases that eat away at the mind and sap its strength. So learn to feed the mind well so it can stay healthy and strong, and feed it well every day as much as you can.